Hey everyone, Jeff Nelson here, um, realtor in Baldwin County, as many of you know. I wanted to do a video today because I haven't done one in a few weeks. And the reason, if anybody's been keeping up with our channel, I know we have almost a thousand subscribers. Um, I had a little minor surgery and it put me down for a little bit. So I was a little off the radar, but piggyback, piggybacking off of that, I thought about doing something a little different today um, on personal transformation. Now, I've never been the type of person to talk about my personal life. Uh, you'll never see it on Facebook. I don't put on, <laughs> I don't let people every time I go to the hospital, I don't let them know if I'm sick. I, you know, um, close friends and family and that's it, but I don't air my dirty laundry. However, I went through some things over the past few years that uh, were pretty serious and <laughs> uh, very serious, as a matter of fact. And I thought that I might be able to help somebody by putting out a little bit of information on that. Um, some of the things I went through, I'm not going to go into all of it. And I'm not still not going to go into all the dirty details, but I want to hit on some things that hopefully can help you in your life. Maybe Lord knows, I know I'm not the most, I'm not the only imperfect one in this world. So <laughs> take it for whatever it's worth. Stop, hit pause, go to the next video. I'll be back to real estate tomorrow uh, doing videos on real estate and community events. But today, this is going to be totally different. And I'm totally shooting from the, from the hip on this. So um, <clears throat> as you all know, I don't follow a script anyway, so this should be fun. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Mm. Hey, this makes me very uncomfortable, by the way. Just letting you know. Because, number one, I don't like telling people this stuff. Very few people know it. But again, the only reason I'm doing this is maybe somebody needs it. Needs to hear it. Um, a few years ago, about three, four, three and a half, something like that. Something happened to me in a relationship that I think should never... I guess the thought that went through my head, and I'm not getting into details, but... I never thought a person that you thought loved you could do something to a person that they claim to love. I, I could not understand, could not get it through my head why somebody could do this to another human being. And um, <laughs> single today because of it. Um, anyway, here I am at that time, 52-ish, and I went into a depression. And I have never dealt with depression issues before then. Um, and I didn't know what it was all about. I didn't understand it until I was actually involved in, uh, neck deep in depression. Until I was in it, neck deep. I, I did not understand it. Um, to throw gas on the fire, I had always been a drinker. But boy, I turned up. I turned up the gauges and basically went into a pretty deep depression and drank um, for a very long time. <laughs> I don't know, eight, nine months drank. And that's pretty much all I did. Um, not proud of it, of course. Duh. Um, fast forward a little bit of time and um, here's the... Uh, Here's what happens. This is how you pay for your past sins. Okay, so I didn't want to. I don't want to go into the details. That's no use um, of what happened that sent me off the edge. Um, this is a success story. Okay, I, if anything, this is a success story. And if somebody, there's plenty of people who are going through some major events in their life. Um, and sometimes you might have, this might hit people that are going through personal items, uh, issues 
with family or that you might have an addiction. And um, hopefully this video could help you out with that as well. Um, okay, so the problem happened about a few years ago, about three years ago, a year and a half ago, October, a year and a half ago. Uh, this is April right now, it's April of 2023. Um, I was in very bad shape, bad shape. Um, business was good up until the depression part. Uh, business was very good. Um, I, my, my business was great. Um, I had built a website of over 1400 pages. I have typed over 2 million words into my website. It was showing up on the first page of Google organically. Um, I started a YouTube channel, um, which today has about 140 videos. I'm saying all that to say this. For anybody who's kept up with my videos, or if you want to look at it, I don't know why you would for this reason. <laughs> but um, for anybody who's been keeping up with my videos over the past uh, couple years, a few years, um, you see that Jeff has gone through many different stages of how he looks on camera, how I look on camera. And uh, <laughs> I look at it today and I look at some of my older videos and I'm like, but, but I can't believe I even got in front of the camera. And I'm not saying I'm great looking now because I, I just don't think I'm great looking at all. But boy, <laughs> I look terrible back then. And so, I went through this stuff and I decided to, well, here's what happened. A year and a half ago, I was in very bad shape. Um, basically, I didn't leave my bed up until the point I went to the hospital in that October. And um, I had liver failure and kidney failure. I understand I did this to myself through alcoholism. Um, I was given a 50% chance of living in the next three months. That hits you hard, let me tell you. That hits you hard, and um, when you're told that. I grew up in church. I am going somewhere with this. I grew up in church, grew up in Christian schools, went to Christian schools from kindergarten through college. Um, I was born and raised a Christian, and I fell away, and um, like a lot of people, some people do. Um, I hope that's not you, but I did. And But anyway, long story short, the moral of that story is, is that I had a lot of people praying for me. Um, I believe I was totally healed because I was at the hospital for a total of seven, uh, eight days. And with kidney failure and liver failure on the first day, and come day eight, uh, the doctors said to go on home. Um, with, within a month, because um, I was doing a little better, but it, it, it wasn't great. But, um, oh, so I was diagnosed with cirrhosis, okay? Alcoholic cirrhosis. All right, Ugh. I hate saying that to all you people, but it's the truth. Um, within a very short amount of time, and, and I'm not gonna go into every detail, okay? So I'm not gonna bore you to death, hopefully. And again, this is a success story. Um, hopefully, things that I did in my life um, can help you in yours, and you can come out of it like I did and that I'm doing every day. Um, within a month or so, I had to do my follow-up appointment with my primary care doctor, and you know, of course, all kinds of lab work, follow-ups and all that, like they, like they do. And all of my um, numbers continue to get better and um, better and better. And I, I really believe I was healed by God um, there was such a support system with my mom and my kids and just a couple of friends. 
I don't have, I didn't have many friends. All my friends were drinking buddies. And then when this happened, nobody wanted to hang around anymore. But uh, anyway, as the months went by, I started getting better and better. And my family practitioner, general doctor, um, he said, I can't explain it. He said, but you have a normal, healthy, well, not totally healthy. You still have cirrhosis, but you have a normal functioning is the right word liver at this point and you'll probably live just as long as you would have if you didn't do this to yourself um of course you know i was on a few medications uh, i'm hardly on anything now it's mainly vitamins and a couple other things but nothing major um Anyway, it was a very dark time. I, I almost did myself in. I think if I did not go to the doctor that day, I would not be doing this video today. Um, I chose a path because of the depression. I chose to hurt the situation instead of help it. And um, not a good thing. So when I went through that depression, um, instead of seeking help at that point, with what was going on up here, I decided to um, find my own solution, which is usually not the way to go when you're talking about your personal life. Usually we end up that way for reasons, uh, decisions we make, but um, anyway, I made the decision to, to do it through a bottle. And uh, so if you're going through depression, I know what you're talking about. I, I know what you're dealing with. Um, but don't try to use alcohol or drugs as a crutch. All right, get help. Talk to somebody. Okay, so let's fast forward um, to what I did. Number one, I stopped drinking. Totally. Nothing. I don't drink anything anymore, and I won't. Um, I will never drink. I will never have a beer. I will never have a glass of wine ever again. Um, not only, I would, I would love to have, <laughs> I would love to have a martini, but I'm not going to anymore. And um, it's not only because I have cirrhosis. It's just because it really just did not do anything for me, except make me a little stupid. And yeah, it's an, as anybody who drinks, um, you do stupid things, you talk too much, you say something wrong, you, you know, you're going to do something. You're not yourself. You're going to do something that you wish you hadn't have done. So there's just no reason to drink anymore. I started eating better. And um, basically today, hardly any processed foods, hardly any fast food. Um, very few restaurants, actually. I, you know, make all my own meals here. Um, it's, uh, you got to get away from that processed food. And, uh, here's a big one. If you are in a, whether it's depression, whether it's some kind of an addiction, um, chemical addiction, whether it be alcohol, drugs, whatever the case may be, um, you need a support system, a support group. I had, I have my mother, um, who is the biggest angel on earth, um, kids, a uh, few, just a handful of friends. Oh Lord, when I was in the hospital with uh, liver failure and kidney failure, my ex-wife, Karee, and my daughter, Cammie, um, they both, oh, I'm gonna cry. They both um, offered to give me a piece of, uh, of their liver. God love their souls. Oh, where am I at? Support group. Okay, so um, I'm not here to push anything on you. I, I do. I am a Christian. I do believe everybody needs the Lord. Um, I think you need Jesus in your life. And um, I did. And um, I, I do believe I was healed. Um, but I'm, not to, I'm not here to push that on you. And I'm not here to push any particular organization on you. Um, I do not go to AA. But um, I think it's a good organization. Um, any, you need to be around if you have those type of problems. And I think we would be shocked. 
professional or non-professional alike, I think we would be shocked to know people out there who have closet addictions. Uh, most people did not know that I had alcohol in my system. When I had alcohol in my system for a time there, I had alcohol in my system um, every waking moment. Hate to say it, but I did. And uh, most people didn't know it. So um, there's a lot of people who, and I think we would be surprised on the number. And I think a lot of them are ashamed. They might have physical reasons why they, they're afraid to quit because of withdrawals or shaky the shakes, which I had a big problem with. Um, but you can do it. You can do it. I promise you, you can do it. You can get through it. But everybody needs a support group, uh, whether it's AA. I, um, through my church, I go to City Hope here in uh, Malbus, uh, Spanish Fort. And um, we have a group there. And it's a recovery for people who are in recovery. Um, and, you know, there's people there that have been recovered for 30 years. It's just, a, it's not necessarily people who are heroin addicts are going to this group because they have to. Um, there are people there that's been sober for 30 years and they are um, clean, and but they still know they need that support of like-minded people. And I think that is most important. And if I made any changes over the past year and a half, I would have done that part first. I think that's highly important. All right, the good news. A year and a half later, where am I today? Number one, clear-headed. <laughs> oh gosh, I still stutter and stammer and I don't, I do a lot of editing on these videos and sometimes I keep the stuttering in there, but I'm clear-headed. There's not this fog. Oh, I love it. Uh, where am I at today? No alcohol at all. No drugs. I never did drugs, ever. Well, I smoked some pot maybe three times my whole life, um, four times. But my thing was alcohol, and I, but anyway, that is totally out of my life, did that. Liver and kidney numbers are normal, which I am happy to say. I still, because I, the cirrhosis is a scarring of, in the liver, so although I was healed from dying, um, the scarring, is there and there's some complications and I'm learning to you know there's there's a fluid that builds up because of the scarring um, you got to be very um, there's things that you got to do to control that and I'm doing that but there's things you got to deal with every once in a while but I am healthy as a horse I have lost <laughs> in a year and a half I have lost 120 pounds so a couple of you are going to go scramble back to a couple years ago and look at some, some of those videos. Boy, I tell you, terrible. There is life at the end of the rainbow. There is happiness and God, for sure. I have a peace about me. Um, still struggle with what was done to me that sent me into depression. But uh, I definitely have a peace about me. Um, I, my family, my mother in particular, um, support is fantastic to have. Get yourself involved in a support group of some kind. And <clears throat> if you think that you might be overdoing it in an area like alcohol, I know most people drink something. I know. Uh, there's very few people who don't drink anything at all. Very few. But if you think you might have a problem or if you think that you could let yourself easily, easily go down that road into a problem, it will catch up to you. Um, it's going to either going to be through a DUI or getting in trouble or divorce or something. And it's not positive. If you really think about it, there's really nothing I can think of as a heavy drinker, and I didn't drink beer, or 
I drank some wine here and there, but I was a hard liquor guy. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you, there is nothing good about putting chemical alcohol substances, chemical substances into your body. There's nothing good about it. I hope I didn't bore you to tears. I'm feeling great. I'm at peace. I hope this helps somebody out there. I don't. I, I was given another chance, and um, I think there's a reason why. Anyway, back to real estate. Starting tomorrow, back at it. Hit, I'm going to hit this harder than I ever have. Um, I think with my success, and I've sold hundreds and hundreds of homes in my 17-year career. Hundreds and hundreds. But I think with my success, there's more I can do to help other people, as long as I help myself and my family. Um, I'm gonna hit this harder than ever and being clear-minded and great health. Um, I think that's gonna happen even quicker. So please reach out if you need anything, if you need um, to talk. Lord knows you knew my number, got it all over everywhere, or an email if you wanna send me an email. I would love to hear from you if I can help in any way. Talk to y'all tomorrow.